Welcome back to the Craft Corner Scraps. I'm Jen from DMA Made Design. I'm Alona from A Wave of Creations. Together we are sharing budget-friendly tips, tricks using scraps from previous projects or whatever you have around the house. If you like our videos, hit the button below and give us a thumbs up if you want to see more Craft Corner Scraps episode. So today's episode, we are working on garlands for the next holiday. And I'll be doing Easter. And, and then, then we'll be doing St. Patty's Day. So excited. So yeah, want to go ahead and talk about your materials, what you got for Easter? Of course. So I bought these originally last year and uh, from Dollar Tree. And they come in a pack of six. So they're like little chicks, eggs. Um, so I'll be working on that and I'll be also making some pom-poms that we can put on it and some paints from Craft Smart. Well, not brown, but orange. And I might be doing glitter. Not Ooh. sure yet, but these are from Recollections, Black and... Sunflower, sunflower, and just black. Name them. As you can see, little designs that I did. Where'd you get the paint? Is it all from Michael's too? Yes, they come in a pack of 12 from Michael's. So I've had these for a while, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. Paints all over them. <laughs> I mean, those are the best. Michael's paints do last a very yep. long time. And then, of course, you need toothbrush toothbrushes. Just kidding. Not toothbrushes, <laughs> guys. These are paintbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe a toothbrush might work. Who knows? <laughs> Right. <laughs> we should try that next time. These are the other ones that I made. So some of them I freehanded. Some of them I used a stencil, which I can show you guys in a minute. But yeah, I got that stuff from Dollar Tree last year. So I said, why not? Let's use it this year. See, that's the greatest. If you bought something last year, you can always, I mean, if you remember, that's the tricky part. Um, use it again this year because they're still in style and it doesn't go anywhere. It's just bummer that if you miss it or if you catch anything that's on sale now, because usually the big sales are after the holiday, just remember to save it into a spot. I don't know how everybody else organizes, but yeah, just put it in a place where it's in that crafts scrap area and it'll be in that for next year. And that's why I found these guys in my while well, I was cleaning my craft area and so I thought why not use them this year and then Kira says oh I want to paint them <laughs> <laughs> so I see? saved a couple for her to paint see there's always a good use for when you save your holiday crafts for the following so don't feel like oh, I missed it oh I, I'm not going to ever use it you will use it trust us you will use yes. it always a use for stuff like i will buy stuff all the time and then i'll be like mm, guess i'll just use it next time or just put it away i know sometimes i do forget mm -hmm. i'm not gonna lie but you will use it for if it's not for that particular holiday it could be for another holiday who knows um like here i got well i have these um, green cardstocks, as you can tell, I'm doing the St. Patrick's theme, and I got these glitter cardstock over at Michael's as well, the Recollections. Um, and then I'm just using the glitter, using green cardstock that I have. I mean, I have a bunch of green cardstocks from previous projects, and then got yellow cardstock and just printed out all of this stuff, as you see here. 
has been cut on the silhouette. So I'm just really excited that it's so easy to manage and easy to glue. So yeah, just getting all these shamrocks. Got the, I believe I got these actually from the Silhouette Design Studio. And then the font, I just kind of used any font from the Silhouette and just typed out all the words. So pretty simple. It's not that bad. You don't have to like do any fancy schmancy work on my end for the kids, I think. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm doing like a big when the kids woke up. I did something last year, which was really fun. I mean, they're getting a little older. My my daughter's the sneaky one. She's so funny. She's like, I know it was you that put the leprechaun uh, uh, footprints down. Those are stickers. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> you're a funny child. So <laughs> she's catching on. <laughs> she's catching on. So la last year, what I did is I um, got stickers from Amazon and I put them like walking towards the kitchen table. I put some chocolate coins. Uh, I, I don't know if I have a picture from last year. If I do, I'll post it onto my Instagram account. But yeah, it was so much fun. So this year I have something lined up for the kids. So I'm really excited. Can't wait. Oh, that's fun. I do <laughs> enjoy decorating. Yeah. And doing these little crafts with our littles. So, well, not yeah, my but... little. She's a giant and she loves it. Right? I mean, yeah. anything that gets some hands on, you know, stuff. But th these are easy projects to do with kids from any ages, I think. I mean, I think if my kids get older too, that the, I want to carry this still the craft with them and to enjoy with mm -hmm. when they have kids. So it would just be really nice. I don't know. Do you do Easter egg hunt? Uh, yes. That's what she enjoys. Mm. That's what she looks forward to. Oh. I think it's still fun. Just I a mean, as an Easter adult. egg hunt. Yeah. And I think as an adult. Oh, yeah. I especially, you know, it. if you put like coins in it, they really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Money. Yeah. It's a big thing. Money is now, I think my kids will still like the chocolate, but. I think one year there was money in there and they're like, what? Like, like a dollar <laughs> bill. They're so excited. What is this? Oh, I yes, know. I know. <laughs> that's what our parents used. That's what my parents used to do. For mm. us kids, like there's that one golden egg. <laughs> yes. If you find that golden egg, you are a winner. No, just kidding. <laughs> right. Well, to them, they, they think it's a lot of money. You know, a dollar, yay! Or yeah, even coins. I mean? I mean, actually, when we were probably going up, a dollar meant so much more. Than so in the comments, like, if you guys decorate for St. Patrick's Day or Easter. Yeah, what's your favorite holiday and what do you guys like to do? I mean, there's so many things you can do for each holiday. It doesn't matter. I'm excited for these two. I mean, it's because the school does something. And oh, yeah. My son, my older son, who's going to be nine next month's favorite color is green. So just oh. seeing all this green, he'll be so excited. Are you thinking or is he wanting? <laughs> for his birthday this year? Yes. We are thinking... Um, while I talk and try to spell St. Patrick's, um, what do you call it? A snake theme. So we are going to oh, do okay. snake. So it's perfect green. Um, I just have to figure out how to. I do garlands, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to put a garland together for like the. You guys are not following her on Instagram. You guys can. Follow her on Instagram, DMA May Designs. Yes, and follow and Alana too. All sorts of arts and crafts she does. Also, Alana, don't forget her. Follow us on Instagram. We'll put all of the information down below so you guys can click um, all of our feeds <clears throat> and go follow. There's so many crafts. We have so many crafts. 
that's why we're so excited to share. I feel like people always have scraps. People always have leftovers. I mean, anything in your home. Or you can just turn in a, I don't know, container into something nifty crafty. Oh, yes. I'm sure we'll be doing some sort of project <laughs> crazy with that. <laughs> We're going to crazy. It's going to be cool, crazy. But keeping it simple, I think this is going to be a cool garland slash banner, per se, um, near our oh, yeah. fire plant. And plus, fire. everyone goes to Dollar Tree. To look at what they have. They're coming out with more craft stuff that you yeah. can use. They are. Decorate they have with. a great section. You're absolutely right. They have a cool section in there. <clears throat> mm. Yep. So, so you're painting your little the chickens today. <laughs> the weather yes. well, it was raining this morning and then now the rain has kind of stopped it's the sun's coming out sun's coming out that's good the yeah how about you here. it's sunny out here and the mountains have a lot of snow oh my god it's so crazy so, so we, both we can get out yeah, and we both live in California, but different areas of California. So I'm up in the Bay Area, and then Alana's more down, like, what'd you say, mid? Down or south. Inland, south? Um, yeah. yeah, more south, like San Bernardino area. Yeah. Yeah. Down. So it's, it's just, just crazy. Storm. And I guess we are still going to have some more rain so which we and need this past weekend it was snowing a little bit near us fun and on sunday morning there was a little bit of snow that stuck on the ground <laughs> just a little it's bit <laughs> just a little and then it melted away just saying just kidding yep yep <laughs> gave us a little teaser right so, um, these are some of the stencils that I cut with my Cricut, and then oh, that's cool. my silhouette I also did, and then this one too. So if you don't oh. have a cutting cutting device, die cutting machine actually it's called, then you can also freehand it as well. Yeah. Which I did on that one. And then I did it on this one. See, freehanding so. is so fun. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to freehand because you never yes. know what will don't come be out afraid. of it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Never know what... artistic work. You know? 100%. You may not like it, other people might. <laughs> so don't give that up. Is... That's a good advice because it's it's hard because we're our own critics on anything. Yes. Ah. That's the fun part about it. You know, we get to be creative in our own elements. Yes. And it's the beauty. And you see your progress of your um of your work. That's what I like. I like seeing my progress. So I'm mixing white and green to try to make match this color. <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck, Alana. <laughs> Are you just mixing your dark green with your white just to make it more lighter? <laughs> yes. The fun of paint That's colors. The trick. When you don't have the color, make it yourself. <laughs> That's right. Or then go ask your kid how to make the colors because, you know, they're just learning that in school. And then I'll be like, what makes brown? 
Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Very true. They are Plus, so they enjoy nice. mixing colors together. All colors. Right. Oh, yes. That one time where they can actually be messy. That one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I have a parchment paper down. See? Tell. Did you are did I just see that you used a um an aluminum like pan or dog bowl? You have that? <laughs> that was a dog bowl? Had a yes. This is dog bowl. I'm sure it's I probably love it. from my nights in store. I'm not sure, but <laughs> Look at that. When you have you don't... multiple pets, you know, got to think outside of the box. <laughs> That's actually a great thing because you don't have to use, like, I see you have um, a paint palette. But again, yes. use anything that's in the house. Doesn't matter what you want to use. It will work. Yes. And this also <laughs> I got from the 99 cents store, these little palettes. Yeah, 99 cents are... store, Dollar Tree. My bad. Dollar Tree. Yep. Um, yeah, see, you don't always have to get everything on Amazon or. All right. No, but Amazon is my go to. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I did get these glue. Your garland's coming out so cute. Yours too. Like it's so easy, it's so simple. I mean, the cutting might take just a few cuts, errors, trials, what you want. But at, once you get all the cutting down, that's it. You just glue, pop, and you're pretty much done. I mean, what this took me not that long, and then you just I, I think I'm going to do yarn to hang this up. And, of course, I will post it mm -hmm. to show you how it looks, where I'm going to put it. And then I'm also going to decorate my holiday tree. We keep a Christmas Definitely. tree every holiday. Yeah. So it is gluing onto the glitter. Mm -hmm. If you awesome. are concerned, this glitter will hold up. I've used this cardstock plenty of times. Um, from recollection, so it will hold. It will hold the whatever cardstock that you apply on top of it. So don't be afraid of glitter. Just another don't be thing. Afraid. No, and another thing that you can do with these letters, if you don't want to glue them down, or if you want to give it a little bit more pop, there's like the sticky foam that kind of will give it a little pop. You can put that on top as well. I mean, there's just so much. It's endless. On this project. <laughs> Pretty cool. Endless. Endless. It is. But for me today, oh, I wanted to keep it flat. Flat, flat, flat. So let's see if I can. <clears throat> so where are you going to put those once you're done? Just this one. Oh, I'm just going to hang it in front of my desk. Ooh. Ooh. And it'll be next to my cutting mats. <laughs> mm -hmm. So once I'm done, I'll be show you guys. I don't know if we'll do a short or post it on our Instagram. So if you don't have any um, adhesive, you can just place it on the egg. Well, let me wait for it to dry. It's almost dry. Okay, let's try this one. Take two. Take two. Is 
So that's a stencil vinyl. This is stencil vinyl, 813, I believe. We'll do our best to... And um, I just placed it on there. And you can kind of use your fingers to make it stick on there. Um... And you can start painting whatever color you want it to be. So I'm not sure if I should paint it yellow. Let's try it. I think it'll be cute. See what it does. Do the yellow. Yeah, check it out. See, doesn't matter. Just do it. You can always paint over that mistake, too. Exactly. <laughs> Trust me, I've done it on this one. <laughs> Oops. Trust I've done on me. This one. I like it. We've done... So we've I had to redo it. We've done fails. You Don't worry. Experiment. Yeah. I you agree. Experiment. Got to see how it comes out. If you don't like it, guess what? You can paint over it. And that's what I say to my kids. Mistakes are a beauty. That's the one thing I like about painting. <laughs> so, again, we'll do our best to uh, apply everything in the comments below. So, if you have the materials, you probably have a green, you probably have a yellow, and you probably have all those paints all ready to go. <clears throat> Just have to look oh, yeah. organized and clean. Exactly. Or if you don't have it, the kids might have it. <laughs> That's true. Or other paints. <laughs> yeah, if you have a whole supply for them. Totally true. But yeah, those paints from Michaels do last for a long time. But if time. you don't, you know. Yes, and I'm sure um, Walmart has paints as well. So if you're on a budget, Walmart works too. Yes. Coming out with orange. We'll see how this works. And these don't take long to dry either. They're very, they dry quick. Right. Don't need to worry. So I'll let that sit for a minute and then this is already dry. So yeah, so, how long do you put your um, a stencil on? Like once you put it on and paint, do you take it off automatically, or do you just leave it on? Um, I leave it on for a few minutes. Okay, probably five to ten minutes, depending on how wet it is. But it dries fast, so. I just leave it on there, and then when it's dry, I just peel it off. Perfect. And it should turn out right. <laughs> but if it doesn't, <laughs> you can always paint over it. Even if you don't like the, the design that you did. That's what I like about it. You can recreate it. So like next true. year I can, you know, design the eggs different. But this one I'm gonna use transfer tape. And this is from Cricut. They have transfer tape. Yes. So this is what I use. I also use different kind of transfer tape. That's just clear without the grid lines. 
But I just put it on top of the stencil. So I'm gonna push these around. So you can see what I'm doing. You can also put it on parchment paper as well. Flatten it out. It won't stick to it. So I'm here just kind of finishing up my last three little letters day. But didn't take me too long. Just got a little glue on my fingers. <laughs> ah, my Y, my Y doesn't want to come. Yeah, there you go. So I just got to put these it guys did. on. But didn't take me too long. Super easy project. Um, like, again, I cut out these banners, cut out these clovers, the wording font right off of, again, I have a silhouette machine. So easy to use. So simple. If again, comment below uh, if you guys, what's your favorite holiday? What do you guys want to see? Um, we're here, but we'll make sure to have all the materials that we use today down below. A fun project. I think these are great, easy, or if you're like in a pinch and you just really just want to decorate something quick and simple. I think these are just great, both both what Alana and I have today. Especially if you want to get, you know, the kids involved. It yeah. can also be like a family, family project. 100%. I'm all about getting the family involved because it's, you want to also display their work too. They want to see what they did and helped out. To make the day so beautiful. Exactly. So it can be a family. Family project that. Something that they'll me remember. Memories. Remember. Making memories. <laughs> so when, you know when they have their own. They can be like. Hey. My mom taught me. How to do, you know, garland or whatever it is, <clears throat> like All card right. making, like what Jen, her expertise is in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and crochet, which is your side. I think any craft is great, but this is just, it's always fun to craft with kids and make different holidays. But I'm happy how fast and easy this took, and yours too. I think the only yeah. time what it just takes is just to make to paint. But painting can be relaxing as well. It can be yeah. super relaxing. And it's also fun if you know you have stencils. If you're not yet ready to dive into the hand-free world. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Right? But yeah. Uh, you know, you just gotta make it yours. Well, that's... Gotta make it yours. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that. You gotta make it yours. But that's pretty much it on this. Again, paper craft on my end. We got paint woods on the other yep dollar tree find dollar tree find and i want to see how you get that stencil out before we head out yep. <laughs> before we head out because okay. that would be good to share <clears throat> Okay, so let's do this one. Let this one dry a minute. 
So she went from pink to orange. Mm. Looks great. So it might not be able to see the pink, but. Oh, yeah. See. See. Ooh, that looks like it's turning out great. They just carefully take it out. Oh, looks good. It looks really good. There we go. Oh. Okay, I just need to take out my little squeezers to get out the little the little stragglers that stayed. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And it's all done. Look at that. Look how easy that was using stencil. So cool. See? Always add a little design to it. I love it. Yeah. So you can barely see it, but don't worry, Good. guys. We'll get there. Just <laughs> the beginning stages. Our lighting and everything will be on point soon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. That's so cool. Is that one dry? A little bit, but okay, let's see. You're like a pro yeah, at barely. This. You can barely see it. But it looks good. No, actually, I can kind of see it. You can see the lines. Oh, that's so cool. You're so good at that. You guys have to follow Alana at Wave of Creations. Oh, my God. She does a lot of wood. Wood signs. And she's a pro. <laughs> cool. Yep, I'm getting there. But this was fun. That was so, this was so much fun. We always enjoy making crafts with you guys, but hope to see you guys on the next one. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys again soon. Bye now.